multifaceted cyber security <clears throat> multifaceted means having many sides of a person uh, like uh, multi talented we say no so the person is having a multi talent number of talents is having he can sing he can write he can dance he can be expert in a technology like that cyber security is also required a multi faceted way why because we will discuss in this uh, short uh, uh, lecture so if you for understanding purpose multi faceted means having many sides and having a variety of different and important features or elements when it is coming to the cyber security it means an organization needs an a variety of approaches and different approaches and as many as ways to protect their infrastructure so that is where we call it as in a multi faceted information security unfortunately uh, because there is uh, uh, no one size fit all solutions am i right with one solution we cannot uh, we cannot secure entire organization we need required or we may require a number of solution to protect our organization so that's what it is important to remember that no solution in the world can offer a, a guarantee a solution for our cyber security that our organization will never become a victim of a cyber cyber crime however the fact that there are never any guarantee is is not an excuse for inactivity so that's what so we need to work on a different approaches to protect our infrastructure when it comes to counteracting cyber threats the object is to mitigate that uh, risk as much as possible using a layered approach to security that aims to boost our uh, defenses on multiple fronts let's we see that so what is exactly uh, what consists the best approach will uh, naturally vary from business to business depending on their unique set of circumstances as basically uh, security is not uh, fixed it may change uh, business to business so let's see that further how we can define this multi faceted cyber security so as we discussed said there are number of layers are there even the while communicating uh, from one device to another device is a part of layers so all this technology we will learn in the next uh, chapters but at this moment so any communication in it ict environment is based on the layer basis uh, based on the iso layer seven layers so so a successful organization should have multiple layers of security in place to protect its operations even the if you go to the any organization the employees in the within the within the employees there are layers uh, like uh, right from the uh, down there are many as many as workers or uh, engineers and there may be a leaders uh, middle management people top management people like that this is a layer approach even the when we are looking about the security we need to have this layered approach multi layered security is a network security approach that uses a number of components to protect your clients operations with multiple levels of security measures because even the one level it is not protected at the second level we can stop such kind of uh, adversaries towards our organization that is what the idea of implementing multi layered multi faceted Uh, approach individual layers in a multi layered security approach focuses on a specific area where malware could attack uh, let's say example a malware which is coming uh, to particular application in your organization but however it can come at uh, through your gateway if your gateway antivirus is there it can stop there so that is where Uh, at first level gateway uh, object gateway objection at for that kind of malware in case that gateway 
firewall which is having antivirus package doesn't take care about that malware it may come to your application uh, wherever hosted that system even that system is having some kind of an antivirus package and a different package what you have uh, at uh, gateway can stop that so that is where we need to implement it and uh, understanding the features in between ids ips and other monitoring solution you can continuously uh, stop and uh, such kind of malwares by implementing this layered approach these layers work together to tighten security and have a better chance of stopping intruders from breaching your network than using a single security solution am i right if you implementing a simple security solution at a, uh, one solution like antivirus if that antivirus is not updated properly it cannot stop so that data can breach so instead of that if you are putting at the various levels and various tests if you can do that at least one of them can stop that so that you can increase the ecosystem of the uh, strengthening the strengthening the ecosystem of that security instead of trying to rely on uh, just one or two lines of defense uh, defense like access cards and two step identification multiple layers of security will lower your risk of breach and make it easier to respond to legitimate inquiries and request so as a business owner or it administrator protecting your data is a top priority and for good reason this is must for every business increases in the security of malware attacks vulnerabilities in networks vulnerabilities in software applications and of course uh, uninformed users are accessing your data is all these things raise the stakes of the cyber security game so layering presents a disadvantage only in that adding additional layers of uh, controls can inhibit usability sometimes organization fight additional security controls on the document such controls will slow the system down or make it more difficult for users so because when you implement as many as security controls accessing easy accessing would be difficult for the your end users this is the one problem implementing a multi layer security however that the sophisticated tools and technologies helps you in support in this also so as even mainly the three key layers of the defense in depth security strategy are physical te technical and administrative controls so the following are can be considered into the different layers like a physical security to protect physical items objects or areas from unauthorized access and misuse when it is coming to the personal security to protect the individual or group of individuals who are authorized to access the organization's information and its operations and the operation security the, to protect the details of a particular operation or series of activities and communication security is to protect the communication media technology and content what you have and uh, network security to protect your networking components networking connections and content related to and contending traveling through these network devices uh, is one of the important activity as part of the network security coming to the information security is to protect the confidentiality integrity and the availability of information assets and whether in storage processing or transmission it is should be achieved via the application of policy education training and awareness and using the different technology so that is where we try to implement the multifaceted cyber security by segregating the entire organization component like a physical components the people the by looking about their personal security while you are doing some kind of operations business operations and specifically looking about that business operation security of course for all these it ict environment you, you are definitely using communications and network devices so definitely uh, communication security and network security uh, domains will help you us to 
protect and coming to the information security ultimately the data is important information is uh, uh, for a particular organization is very important and need to be secured need to be encrypted while when uh, keeping in as a storage keeping and uh, doing uh, some processing or transmitting the data from one network to another network one place to another place so if multifaceted cyber security can also look into that other way by implementing of this cyber framework see uh, basically that previous slide what we exactly have seen is uh, uh, looking segregating of the various activities like a physical operational administrative but here and looking up at an integrated point of view that identifying the your uh, entire assets by doing uh, systematically and systematically planning and uh, doing some kind of risk analysis and uh, uncover uh, under, uh, understanding about the various vulnerabilities so in that assess your environment using uh, outside security professional or internal team or external team who understand the complexity of the cyber and physical security vulnerabilities and threats then the plan to the protect and, uh, develop a safeguards and developing an, a robust plan to manage overall risks and address uh, identified vulnerabilities with respect to the components which you have with respect to the infrastructure which you have and uh, the next step is de detecting make timely discovering the various gap areas like how we found that uh, uh, vulnerabilities in uh, identified division and uh, proactively monitoring the system uh, and 24 by 7 365 against potential threats uh, then uh, because that when we uh, monitoring why it is important is cyber criminals do not work 9 to 5 job am i right so maybe you and me are working in 9 to 6 job but cyber criminals are not like that it is not enough to simply barricade your network with advanced firewalls anti malware encryption algorithms and sophisticated access controls because when you implement as many as security devices to your organization the complexity increases complexity also gives vulnerabilities so those vulnerabilities can found by these cyber criminals as how we do work on 9 to 5 but cyber criminals work on 24 by 7 7 by 365 days so similarly so to stop them you need to continuously monitor your system uh, by 24 by 7 by 365 days looking for unusual activities traffic anomalies suspicious logs and too many failed logins uh, attempts because somebody is accessing trying to uh, as many as attempts and so on you need to continuously do that and also this monitoring is having two approaches one is remote monitoring because dedicated cyber security analyst in our security operation center monitor each and every component which is critical by 24 by 7 365 days and take connective corrective action as needed and deploy the latest analytical tools on your system which immediately alert uh, all members who are the responsible to maintain their operations and correlate the events across multiple systems and establish intelligence needed for a comprehensive response so that is where they implement is the other option is that on premises monitoring and monitoring your network via tools provided by uh, uh, your organization tailored rules set to continuously monitor your system within your isolated network environment regularly update the dashboard dashboards etc to continually monitoring so the along with identifying protecting detecting responding is also important why you require responding that even though you are identifying there is a gap area there is a threat there is a risk and there is a attack is going on now and if you are not responding to stop those attacks you may lose your data you may lose uh, your trustworthiness to your clients and your customers and bringing back if suppose some attacks happens bringing back in and recovery plan 
create improvements to prevent future attacks is also important along with that. So when you look like that previous slide is a multifaceted cyber security is a kind of an a segregating your components with physical, administrative and logical here all together in an integrated fashion. So we can do that. But in each step in, in each multi layer step, we are identifying the something like uh, in the first step identifying the uh, various gap areas by assessing their risk and the second layer the protecting a, a necessary uh, safeguards or developing those safeguards uh, to stop any future threats. Of course, if even though you cannot give guarantee so that there could be a possible T uh, of that that hackers continuously works ra rather than a, a view like work uh, nine to five. So so timely discovering such kind of activities, detecting that activities are very important. Once you detected, responding and recovering is also important and comes as an, another way of multifaceted work.